Yeah, some golfing experience between these two, Ellie Scott and he, as you mentioned, or a wealth of amateur international experience. Has already racked up 30 rounds, so in her first four contests, and valuable rounds they have been too. She is rolling the dice here. Another high-risk contest against a well-seasoned, long-standing former champion in Cecilia Roman. Youth against top-level experience, and we may find out in these coming rounds just how much Cecilia Roman has left here. Cecilia Roman seasoned, but is she past her best? Has she found the resurgence coming up a few pounds back to 122. She started slowly against Ebony Bridges, who started very fast indeed and let the hands go in that contest. And while well, she tried to absorb as much of it as she could on the arms and slow the Aussie down, and for a time in the middle rounds, Darren, it looked as if. Ebony Bridges was running out of gas, but she worked through that patch and she ground Cecilia Roman down over the stretch and, and earned a, a very well deserved victory. Yeah, she was a woman possessed that evening. Ebony Bridges done so well to become crowned the new champion. And already in this contest, we've seen more long range boxing in the first three and a half minutes. I think we did in 10 rounds in the Bridges fight. They just went to the center of the ring. And they dug away at each other and really was the fittest and the strongest that survived and came out on top. And it was Ebony Bridges down at 118 pounds. And Eddie Hearn believes that this could be in victory tonight for Ellie Scottney. Her opportunity to take one step closer to potentially Mylon Rivas, the WBA champion at 122. Controlling the distance really well, Chris, around here behind the jab. Looking at the two of them here. Looking well, Ellie. Back to this one, Ellie Scott needs. She's, uh, she's been really good with her feet, like I mentioned in that second round. Creeping forward every time the man looks to plant her feet there. Shots go, she slides out of range, fires that jab out, and she does there. The man's got to try and be a bit more aggressive on her own front foot. So I think it's just the lack of the power in the hands. You can see there's no respect at all shown by Ellie Scott. He throws a nice right hand as she takes her head off centre line. Great in and out boxing by Ellie. Great shot selection. You can see her landing beautiful punches coming forward and then beautiful punches coming back. She's coming the chin a little higher as she lets her hands go, Ellie. But boxing nicely. She's aggressive on the front foot. She needs to be, though she's extremely fit for 39. She is aging. Roman, so. Pressure, work rate. Can't be greedy, got the sensible in the shot selection. This is, what, this is what we see, didn't we, against Bridges from Roman. Starting to try to creep forward and really start taking the fight to Ebony. And we're seeing it now from Roman against Ellie. Starting to creep forward on the front foot. Got a very good chin, very tough game. She's a winner, she's a former world champion, you can see that now. She's uh, certainly approached the second half of the fourth round differently to the first three. Well, Cecilia Roman, Darren, has been read the right act in her court, yeah. and she has come out firing in the fifth. This is a different fight now, Chris, altogether. We see at the end of that fourth round, she started to let her hands go, more aggressive on the front foot. We're seeing it again at the start of this fifth round. A good boxing, though, from Ellie Scott on the back foot. But Roman fancies this now. Trying to use all her experience. Trying to drag Ellie Scott into her kind of fight. punching from Ellie here. This is what you've got to do, right, Sky? Keep things simple, show the skill, show the levels. Work the body, work the head, then move. That's all she has to do in this fight. Another mark tip saying, the game plan with Roman is it. If you can get her to lunge, you can fall over that front foot and presents opportunities up the middle. Bridges, of course, was pressing forward hard herself. Scotty has the opportunity to walk her onto shots here. She's trying to. Good right hand. Took a head off centre line, straight down the guard of Roman. Beautiful shot. 
smile from Ellie inside, who's working the shots well. Good right up a couple of by left to bit wild with that right hand. The man misses by a mile. Yeah, best of round of the fight for Scott. She started the fight well, but that was the best round for her. She was disciplined, she was smart, she was quick. She, she mixed up the shots, you see there, good variation. That was a lovely short uppercut. Feet are good. Other than the fact she's circling to her left, but otherwise looking compact. And the man on the flip side needs to get close. She's got to try and back, and he's got the upper. The ring position has been really, really good from the Catford fighter. I think you can see that Ellie really learned a lot from that Guanini fight, and she's, she's, she's showed that in this fight now. She's, she's using her boxing skills, she's moving when she needs to move. Great improvements from that last fight. Yeah, but she's uh, opted to move a fair bit. She has tried, tried on occasion to, to close that gap, but I feel at range there's only one winner here. I mean, now she's a lot more disciplined than she's not falling over that front foot and landing at will. And in theory, at 122 pounds, she should be fresher than she was at, at 118. I think this is the kind of movement and performance we'd expected to see from her against Ebony Bridges, but she opted to, to hold her feet to, to stand and, and trade. And now, this is the time you kind of want to see her pressing forwards and putting some pressure on Scott Lee. Just lands her and left it, but the feet got tangled. The two rounds to go, and barring a major catastrophe here, Ellie Scottney looks on her way to victory number five against Cecilia Romain. She's going to have to do something pretty spectacular. And she's not, as you spoke to Ebony Bridges, not known as a, as a puncher, unlikely to, to find something big to uh, to turn the tide on Ellie Scottney here. That's got to be volume. I hope she can force some sort of stoppage or oh, some blood running down the face now. Seems to be coming from the top of the forehead of Roman. Ebony Bridges is seeing blood and she's really fighting down on the gums. She doesn't really need to be doing this, if I'm honest. We'll have to get a look at what caused that. Yeah, maybe the heads came together, but Ellie Scottney's just sent blood quite literally. And she's really putting her hands together now, putting the man under all sorts of pressure, piling it on. Ellie Scottney. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a clash of heads, which causes the cut on the top of the head. You see the blood straight away running down the forehead of Roman. Accidental. Yeah. Right. There's another good round. More spiteful, aggressive looking Ellie Scottney. See they're landing the shots. The right hand followed it up with a jab, took her feet out of range, avoiding the shots from Roman as she moves back to the centre ring, marching forward again. But this has been a very good performance from Ellie Scottney so far. With only 20 seconds to go. The man just misses with a, a long right hand. Scott, he just holds her feet, shortens up those uppercuts on the inside. The man chops away to the body. Scott, he's put a lot into these last three or four rounds. Pull clear on the cards, puts the hands together again. Confident, smart work from the Catholic fighter. She knows she's done enough. Cecilia Roman perhaps knows tonight she is past her best. She raises her arms a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here at the O2, we go to the judges' score totals. Gustavo Padilla, 100 to 90. Bob Williams and Jan Christensen both scored about 99 to 91. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. She's still undefeated and still the WBA Intercontinental Super Bantamweight Champion, Ellie Scottney.